What's up guys, Philip here and I am back in the garage after a PEC rehab day to speak to y'all briefly on um, two different principles that I would use when buying second hand to come out ahead um, in your pursuit. So what is second hand? What is kind of the used market? Now that would be like a Craigslist, a Facebook marketplace, anywhere where somebody can buy from a company um, and then take their used goods and sell it to somebody else. How can you come out ahead on that? It is an incredible resource for building a home gym, guys. Buying secondhand easily has the highest potential to get you quality equipment at a great price, but you have to um, navigate it carefully because you can get ripped off as easily as you can um, score. So how do you kind of maximize that potential, um, get good stuff, for a good price. Well, number one, um, and this definitely applies to buying new or used, and that is know what you're getting or find somebody who does, guys. Research it, know what it costs, know what you're getting. You know, if you're buying a PR5000, make sure you know what a PR5000 is, or just my example, but just know what you're getting beforehand, know what it costs know what its kind of market value is and what it should cost um, with whatever kind of condition that it's in. Guys, I have bought um, multiple things off Facebook Marketplace. Um, I've got a Roman chair for 100 bucks, a Titan belt squat, uh, very lightly used for 500 even, and a uh, Titan trap bar version two for 220, um, basically mint um, condition, and I, kind of knew what those were and what they should cost before I went um, to buy them. And they have been um, great. I saved a lot of money on them, but you can just as easily get ripped off by somebody selling old cast iron plates that they you know, maybe reperp or refinished uh, for over $2 a pound, guys. You don't want that to happen to you. I don't like being had. I'm sure uh, you don't either. So know what you're buying. Um, know what it should cost. If you don't, find somebody who does. Guys, I've bought a few things, but I have a buddy um, that was featured in one of my first actual lifting videos, uh, Matt, who now has his own home gym. He started lifting with me and mine, and it made him want his own. Funny how that works. Um, but he scored. He doesn't know about all this gym equipment. He doesn't know what's good, what's bad, what's expensive, what's cheap. Um, but I was there to be able to kind of help him, to guide him, and um, kind of know what the pieces were worth. So I'll talk more about that um, in a little bit, but that is the first thing. First and foremost, know what you're buying and know how much it should cost, okay? Um, number two is definitely be patient, guys. If you are buying off of Facebook Marketplace, you know, there are a lot of people that say, oh, you can't find great deals. Um, those are all, you know, myths. Those are anecdotes. You don't ever find that. Everybody's just trying to rip you off on Facebook Marketplace. Um, that might have been a little bit of an exaggeration, but the common consensus is that it's a harder to find, you know, slamming deals than, you know, people make it out to be. And to a degree, that is true. I mean, you don't find them all the time. You definitely find people price gouging more than um, great deals, but you do find good deals. You just have to be patient enough and not impulsive um, and wait for that right opportunity to come. So like I said, my buddy Matt um, has his own home gym now, and this is the best um, example I can give you of somebody who was patient enough, was not impulsive, um, waited for the right situation. So his home gym, I actually helped him find it and I helped him pick the equipment up. He got a lightly used Rogue Monster Light with pin and pipe safeties and a set of J-cups. It came with an extra dip attachment. He got a Still pretty good condition, Rogue Ohio bar with a black zinc finish. Um, he got a Rogue adjustable bench. Not 100% sure which one it was, but if you know Rogue adjustable benches, they're all incredibly expensive. And it was in good condition. And he got like a 230 or 260 pound pair of Rogue HG bumper plates, guys. He got that for 1300 bucks and it's because he was patient. 
I just, you know, generally adding off the top of my head, 600, the bars, you know, probably over 300 at this point, rack 19, probably close to $3,000 worth of lifting equipment, at least 2,500 for 1,300 bucks, guys. And it's all rogue stuff. It's all very quality stuff. It is all made in America. And it is a fantastic value, guys. You can find great deals. Um, if you are patient, if you know what you're looking for. So just wanted to talk to y'all a little bit about that today. I hope you found these tips helpful. They were probably pretty obvious, but I did figure they were worth mentioning. So any other ones that you would like to drop down in the comment section below, help anybody who um, would like to build a home gym, please do that. And I appreciate you guys watching. Again, I hope this helped and I will catch you guys later.